You know how testing software can be a real headache, right? Writing test cases, running them, and finding bugs. It all takes a lot of time and effort. Well, today I'm going to show you something that might change that for good, and it's called Test Sprite. My name is Daniel, and in this video, I'll break down what Test Sprite is, how it works, and give you a live demo so you can see it in action. If you want to speed up your testing and save time, stick around. This one's pretty interesting. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's jump right in. Alright guys, let me tell you about Test Sprite. It's an AI tool that automatically tests your software, so you don't have to write all the test cases yourself. You just give it some info, like your API docs or even a simple description. And it handles the rest, creating both the plan and the test code. It works for both the front end and the back end. And after running tests, it doesn't just show what broke, it also tells you why and suggests fixes. Folks, it fits right into your current setup, so testing becomes super smooth and automatic. It's still in beta, so not everything's perfect yet, but it already looks like a smart, easy way to make testing faster and cheaper. Now, guys, here's something cool. Test Sprite just launched something called MCP, and it's kind of a game changer if you're using AI to write your code. You know how tools like Copilot or Cursor can crank out code fast, but sometimes that code doesn't quite work the way it should? That's where Test Sprite MCP steps in. Think of it like this, folks. You let your AI write the code, and Test Sprite quietly makes sure it actually works. It hooks right into your IDE, like cursor or anything else that supports MCP, and runs in the background. While you're coding, it's reading your specs, creating tests, running them, and then automatically sending feedback back to your coding agent. You don't even have to touch anything, guys. It's all behind the scenes, making your AI-generated code way more accurate, like over 90% in some cases. And yeah, setting it up is pretty simple. You just need an IDE that works with MCP, a test sprite account, and an API key to connect everything. Once that's done, the whole process kind of takes care of itself. Honestly, folks, it's a smart way to turn your AI code into real, working software without spending hours debugging. You code like usual, your AI assistant writes stuff, and Test Sprite quietly makes sure it doesn't break. Now, guys, let me show you what Test Sprite can do when it comes to working with MCP. So, I launched a React.js project using Cursor, and it's this event registration platform that I want to use for managing signups for an event. Now I want to test it. The best way to do that is with Test Sprite, especially the new version that uses MCP. Let's install it on the platform, folks. You can add the MCP server to your project on Cursor with just one click, or you can use a compatible IDE or install it via NPM. Since Cursor supports one-click setup, I'm going to use that. Before installing MCP, I'll grab my APK from the appropriate section. I'll create a new one just for this event project. Copy it. And add it as environment variables. Then start the installation. The tools are loading, guys. And we can see that six of them were activated. These are the commands you can use, but I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm using the documentation to grab a prompt and ask Cursor to help me test the project I created using Test Sprite. You'll see it load in the test configuration, where we need to enter a username and password it'll use during the testing. The app launches on port 3000. Everything looks good, folks. For the product specification doc, I'm just using a simple markdown readme file. Then we click continue and test sprite starts running. First, it generates a code summary by scanning the entire code base. It creates a summary file showing all the tech used in the project, like React, TypeScript, Tailwind CSS and more. Then, guys, it creates and calls the test sprite PRD, generates a front-end test plan, and keeps going. We run everything it asks for. And while the testing is running, we can already check the admin panel to see which tests passed. Like navigation and routing, smooth page transitions, and broken links. And which ones failed, like create, edit, and delete events, 
and some validation cases. In the Test Sprite Admin Dashboard, guys, we can view every test that passed and every one that failed. For the failed ones, we get a full breakdown of what happened, what Test Sprite did, what errors it found, and where things went wrong. The test results also include the actual code that was used to run the tests, so we can dive deep into everything that was generated. Test Sprite even points us to the final test report, which is stored in a reports from JSON file. The AI assistant can read this and generate a proper report. Now, folks, I asked it to create the test report as a markdown or HTML file and told it to look in the Test Sprite test folder. There we've got the PRD file, a full test result in JSON, a report prompt file, and everything else the system created during testing. Now we create a markdown file called Test Sprite MCP Test Report. And here's the final result. First, we get a full summary. Initially, 31% of the tests passed and 11% failed. When we open the HTML version, guys, we can clearly see which tests passed and which ones failed in the test sprite report. Next, we point again to the test sprite folder and ask for all the detected errors. The AI assistant finds them and starts fixing everything. It begins by fixing the Create New Event button and then moves on to issues like the payment form accessibility problem. Every issue gets corrected automatically in the necessary files. Once all the issues are fixed, folks, we can rerun the tests as many times as needed. Each time the results update in the testing dashboard and we can generate fresh reports based on the new outcomes. All right, folks, so here's the moment I realized I messed up. I asked the AI to build a login system with PHP backend validation and an HTML form that handles errors. The code looked perfect, even the cursor showed everything was fine. But when I started testing, guys, we've got email validation, password checks, and error handling. Everything looks right. The AI even added comments explaining each part of the code. But here's the thing, folks. It built something that looks like a secure corporate portal. There's a little secure icon, clean design, and a very professional feel. Looks trustworthy, right? Now let's test it, my friends. I enter fake company and the password 1234. Boom! It logs me into the dashboard. The system says everything's okay, but I just logged in with a fake email and a super weak password. That should never happen, guys. So yeah, the security logic still needs serious work. And this is where Test Sprite 2.0 comes in. It just launched and already hit the number one spot on Product Hunt. And folks, what it does is honestly incredible. It doesn't just test our code. It actually understands the product's intent. Let's head into the dashboard and create a new test. We'll launch it on our API, go to the URL, choose Type of Application, Null, and try testing it with our data. Here, guys, we can see the API loaded up in one go. Total test cases, 10. The test categories, 5 functional, 5 security. Let's go. And here are the results. Test Sprite automatically analyzed our API and built a full test plan. Check this out, folks. It generated five functional and five security tests. And it found exactly the same issues we discovered manually, plus a few we actually missed. It even created the test to check for fake email acceptance. The exact thing we demonstrated earlier. Okay, guys, let's run the tests and see if it finds the same security vulnerabilities we did. Test Sprite shows us auto-generated Python code used to test the execution results. It created a script with the request's library, set up test data like email and password, and sent an automated POST request to our login endpoint. And right now, folks, we're seeing a status code 405. That means the smart tool actually ran the code against our API and got a real response. Inspecting value line 1, column 1, means the API returned HTML instead of JSON which already hints at a possible API design issue. Guys, this tool doesn't just check if code works. It creates production-ready test scripts you can plug right into your CI-CD pipeline. And here we can see which tests passed and which ones didn't. We hit Next and Continue. The draft test plan is ready. We upload the URL. It gives us four test cases to review. Some are marked high priority, 
others medium. Now for front-end testing, my friends. Test Sprite doesn't just test the API, it also checks real user experience. On the left, we see the UI test cases. And we can see the AI is thoroughly testing those interactions. There was an issue with the logout button. And as you can see, guys, one test passed without any issues. The team member access management still has a problem. All the other tests passed successfully. So folks, this tool records every single interaction. So you can see exactly what happened during testing. This means it doesn't just check if the UI appears, it actually tests real user workflows like login and logout, navigation and form submissions. It helps catch user experience issues, not just technical bugs. It also does pure API testing in its cleanest form and generates full test reports and analytics. And my friends, you can see how many tests passed and how many failed. There's even a summary of results and clear recommendations. And here's the list of all test runs. One of the newest features is monitoring. You can now schedule automatic tests for your projects using Test Sprite. And that, guys, is a seriously useful upgrade. All right, folks, to wrap things up, Test Sprite is a pretty impressive tool if you want to save time and make software testing way easier. It handles everything from creating tests to running them and even helps you figure out what went wrong and how to fix it. It's still new, so a few things might get better with time, but already it feels like a smart way to speed up testing and cut down on costs. If you're tired of spending hours on manual testing, definitely give Test Sprite a try, guys. I'll leave links in the description so you can check it out yourself. And if you do, let me know in the comments what you think or if you run into any cool features or challenges. I love hearing your experiences and questions. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.